Hey everyone, how's it going? So, in order to create a Node.js application, we first need to make sure we have Node.js installed and set up. So, luckily, it's real simple, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Um, you can either go to nodejs.org directly, or you can just go to Google and type in Node.js or Node.js download, like I'm doing here. Press enter, and you should see a link right here. I'm clicking on this download link, and it'll take me straight to the download page. Of course, I'm on a Mac, so I'll press this button right here. Of course, if you're on a Windows machine, you'll press this one. So I'll press that and it'll install the um, actual installer application. Once that's done, I'll click on that and it will actually open that up and run it. Now all you're going to do is click continue and accept all of these prompts, so agree to the terms and conditions, which of course you just read, um, and uh, just click continue, continue, and just go through the whole thing um, and then click install. I've already installed this, so I won't click install, but it's real simple. Just um, click OK all through that and it will install Node.js. Now, to make sure that worked, you can open up the terminal. So if you're on a Mac, just uh, search for terminal and you'll get this application right here. Um, if you're on a Windows machine, you can search for the command prompt, which is just CMD. So just search CMD and you'll get that application. And then to make sure it's installed correctly, you're going to just type in node-v. And dash v means version, and it should display your Node.js version. Now, if you don't see a version when you do that, it means that your Node installation did not work. So you should see a version. Keep in mind though that your version is most likely going to be different to mine because at different points in time they will have different versions as the latest one. Um, so yours will probably be a later version than this, okay? So yours will be different than mine most likely, but that's okay. So anyway, we now know we have Node installed, great. So now we're ready to create our first Node application. So just before we do that though, we are going to install a text editor. Now I'll be using uh, VS Code because in my opinion it's the best text editor out there especially when it comes to writing node applications. And it's real simple to do, uh, to download, sorry. All you have to do is go to Google and type in VS Code. And then you should get a link right here, which takes you straight to it, and just click Download. And again, just go through the installer, just click OK, OK, and agree and stuff, and uh, it will install. It's real simple. Um, it's just like installing any other application. Now, uh, once that's done, you're going to go ahead and open it. So here you go, I've opened my VS Code uh, application and I've, I've got a brand new uh, VS Code instance. And then you'll go to File and then Open at the top here. And then we're going to create a folder for our project. Now I already have this web development folder, which is where I like to store various web projects of mine. So you probably want to create some new folder if you haven't already got one. And then create a new folder in here for this project, so I'll just call it My First App. Now keep in mind that if you're watching this as part of a Udemy course or something, um, in the next video we're going to create a new project from scratch. We won't be using the one we do in this video. This is just to test that uh, Node.js installed correctly, okay? So keep in mind we are going to create a new one. We will not be using this one we create in this video um, in the course. But anyway, click the new folder you created and click open. And you'll see that it's now opened this uh, folder in my workspace. So in this VS Code, it's opened this folder. Now any files created inside that folder will show in this menu right here. Of course, we don't have any files yet, so you won't see anything. Now um, from there, you can create a new file. So you can do that by right clicking on this part right here and clicking new file or by going to file, uh, new file at the top there. But um, inside there, just give it a name. So I'll call this myapp.js. It doesn't matter too much what you call it. And if you're wondering why your icons might look different to mine, it's because I'm using an extension. Um, in Visual Studio Code, you can use extensions and themes and stuff. Um, so I've installed an extension which gives me these cool icons for each of my file types. Um, if you want to install that, you can go to View, uh, Extension right up here. But you don't need to do this, so feel free to ignore this part. But just go to View, Extensions, and you can view all the VS Code extensions that they have available. And just search for Material Icon right there. And then this one right here, Material Icon Theme by uh, Philip Keefe is the one I have. Uh, and then just click Install. I don't see the Install button because I've already installed it. But if I click on another one that I haven't installed, you should see a button that looks like this. So click on that uh, and it will install. And then once you've installed it, you do need to, you do need to activate it. So you can do that by pressing uh, Command-Shift-P uh, or Control-Shift-P if you're on a Windows machine. Uh, and then click, if you type in Material Icons, you should see activate icon theme click on that and it will actually turn this theme on for you and then any of your uh, icons will have cool icons next to it basically any file type you add it will add a, a cool icon for it 
um, because right out the box, you don't have icons for every single file type, just to save space, I imagine. But uh, this will just add the icons. So that's an optional part. You don't need to do that. But it, just in case you're wondering why my icons are different, that's why. But anyway, we're going to write our first application. Now, we'll, to make sure it works, we'll just say uh, console.log and then just put in there some text. So sandwiches like that. Okay. Now, give that a save. So go to File, uh, Save, or press Command S or Control S if you're on a Windows machine. Um, and we're ready to run this now. So to run it, we could run this in the web browser. Um, it would run. But what we're going to do, just to keep it simple, is we'll go to the terminal and run it from here. Now, we could go to the terminal and then CD all the way into our project folder. Okay, we can definitely do that. But in Visual Studio Code, you can open up the terminal by going to view at the top here and then clicking terminal right there and it will open up a terminal or command prompt whatever you want to call it directly inside Visual Studio Code now this will already be inside your uh, project folder so you won't need to you won't need to CD into any of the folders you're already where you need to be from there all I need to do is type in node and then my app.js press enter and you'll see sandwiches so it's what it's done is it's run this application so that is technically our first node.js application so you've done it so we can do some more complicated things such as write output to a file so um, I'll show you how to do that real quick uh, we can say var uh, fs equals and then require and then type in fs now what this is doing is uh, allowing us to use the file system that's what fs stands for in this um, JavaScript file now, file system just allows us to communicate with files, create files, um, you know, write files and stuff like that. So this just allows Node.js to use the file system module, okay? So um, just in one line, all we're going to do is say fs.writefilesync. Now you can see in Visual Studio Code, you get these autocomplete things right here. So just type in uh, fs.writefilesync. And then you need to type in the file that you want to write to. So we're going to call it my text txt which is a text file we don't have this yet so what it will do is it will create it for us uh, and then we're going to put some text in there which will be um, written into this file so we'll say i love sandwiches okay you probably thought i was going to write some hello world messages like you usually see but i like to keep you on your toes so uh, this is it we have this node.js application now and it should write this text into this file so let's run it and give it a try so I'll go to this terminal. I pressed up on my keyboards to go to my previous command, or you can just type this out again. It's entirely up to you. I'll press enter. We're running node uh, myapp.js. You see there's no output now because we didn't have any console.log in this one. So we won't see this sandwiches echoed anymore. Um, but you will see this mytext.txt right here. If I click on that, you'll see I love sandwiches, which is what it's written into the file from this line. So there you go, a real simple uh, node.js application. You're now set up and you're ready to move on to big things.